Okay, we are visiting Sam, the Sam Davis home. And here are the gates going into it. And this is in Smyrna, Tennessee. So we don't really know too much about this. Um, but we're gonna, that's what we're here for. We're gonna learn. So, uh, I've got all these sunflowers like we just showed you planted. And uh, I guess that's parking to see the sunflowers. I don't know. It's a museum. We're not really sure. That's actually his childhood home, or, or what? But we're here to find out. It's very peaceful out here. They're so pretty. Now, Sam was buried three different places. Y'all probably saw that yeah. in the mm -hmm. uh, movie. The first His mother time, had him moved here. Yeah, first time Pulaski went to where he was home. The overseer John Kennedy and his brother Oscar went and uh, ID'd him, actually. Brought him back home and uh, buried him the second time across the creek where y'all turned in into the strike. That was the second time. And then after the war, 1866, his parents had him brought here. And this is where he's buried. Mm. Along with his dad Charles, his mother uh, Jane, sister Andromedia, Oscar, which is the last one to live in the house. Oscar's wife Ida and the grandmother lives in the cemetery. Now this tree here, we're also an arboretum, which is, you know, museum of trees. Yeah. And a few still here with Sam's here. This was they see the picture this in eighteen ninety this tree was here. Wow. This the oldest, the next tree, the oldest on the in the state of Tennessee. This one? Oh, that's beautiful. Huge. What kind? Elm? Summer elm. Summer elm. Summer elm. So this is Sam's grave right here. Wow. And this is his mother. Jane and uh, Andromedia, 1849 and uh, uh -huh. 1838. 
looks amazing. History wow. is. Okay, we need to smoke on through this. Honey. Okay. Yeah, do you want to care? Okay, sweetie. But that field is where the Blue Angel crashed. Okay. Actually, the exact spot is our utility pole closest to us right here. That's where he ended up right in there. You see that clear, and you will see a golf cart going by in there. Yeah, that's the 13th hole. Yeah, that's golf. why it's beautiful all over. Yeah. Oh, it's just amazing. <laughs> so when we came by earlier today, there were turns one way. I told her when we pulled out, I said, you know, we... We passed by here this morning, just mm -hmm. passed by the sunflowers, mm -hmm. and they were facing us, and we came back by, they were like this. Oh, yeah. See the maze they're walking through and the ground through there? Yeah. So you can walk a maze through there. Mm -hmm. You walk all through there. Yeah. And you can do that after you do this if you got time. It's included in the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Roger, you must enjoy your job. Well, I retired Bridgestone. Yeah. And I gave the guy that does the downtown tours at uh, Nashville. Uh, he came. I gave him a tour one day. Yeah, I'm from here. I'm a local. You know. To this site. And um, mm -hmm. when the state uh, bought this, they sold all the slave cabins to a pencil factory in Shelbyville that made pencil butter. They didn't have the historical value like it does now. And that's how they financed the place. Yeah. Like I said, Andrew Media. I said she was 14 and uh, lived in 1938. Her, along with four of the nieces, were the first tour guides. It was family oh doing tour guides. Gosh. A beehive is right through there. It's been stopped. That's where a bee yeah. uh, honey comes from. So oh. the honey you sell in the gift shop is right raw, from uh -huh. here. Raw honey, uh huh. Listen, oh. and a lot of locals, you know, and we're still a working farm, you know. Uh, we still have 168 acres. And Beatty's Farms actually is doing this. They're our farmers. They are going to. Babies, so, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. what That's where they had it last year. This year they moved it over here. What end up happening? What end up happening to the sunflowers? What happens at the? Oh, they'll harvest it. They'll harvest it probably in about uh, ten days to. Uh, and that's where sunflower seeds out. actually come yeah. from. Is from the yeah, and this right here is going to the backpack thing. Half the money and half for here, preserve this place. So it's uh, half of it's going to charity. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, yeah. So what time of the year are those planted? Pardon me? What time of the year are those planted, or do they just come back? They did those. No, they planted them. We had uh, soybeans last year. We also got corn on the backside back there. Uh -huh. And uh, we had cotton one year. It looks like uh, when you got cotton on both sides, it's just really cool. We got a lot of photographers on that. I bet. Oh, I bet. Oh, this, is, this is amazing here. Now, uh, these cabins would sleep uh, five to seven slaves. And like I said, they came from Rattle and Snap Plantation out of Spring Hill, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're not original site, but they are real slave cabins. We'll mm -hmm. open them up. Wow. And they were all probably structured pretty much the same, I would imagine. They were, all of them, uh, you know, about, almost like 100 square foot, give or take. Yeah. And even when we go into overseers, it's going to look huge. But it's about the same, but it's going to seem huge because it's got a high ceiling. Yeah. So we'll take a look at this. This is amazing. And you can see the little bed in the corner. You remember the old saying, sleep tight, don't let the bed bones die. Yeah, they were serious. What's the white down here? Oh, that little white thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a, something that I don't want to pull that in there. But it's not that it's a piece of cotton or something. Oh, okay. Wow. My goodness. Shh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Nice but, you know, uh, you know, the boys, uh, they slept outside a lot of times. I'll show you where they slept on the porch. And they had big cabins back here. Ranger did the tour. After that, that'd be kind of neat. Get to walk around the house. We're both doing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're good at it, Roger. You got, you got, your memories is impeccable. You remember all the stuff. I can't remember what I did five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, now this is what they call a dog trot caddy. Yeah. And uh, it's could possibly have been for a larger family, you know, sleeping quarters over here, or living quarters over here and sleeping quarters, and this would be the kitchen where they would eat. Yeah. yeah. Now, they did have a slave back in named Swain. He was actually a blacksmith. And after the war, he became a successful businessman. He, he started his own business. He had around 74 customers. 
and he made anywhere from around uh, 20 cents to 30 dollars. He did pretty well back then. Yeah. And a blacksmith, a good one is like we have to work on the cars. Right, like a good mechanic. Yeah. Because yeah. you had everything was made out of iron and from scratch, you yeah. know. But this house here is what they call a Greek revival. It was pretty common in the south. You know, the four big columns. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they actually built this house around the existing log house like down there. It's got a uh, full dirt basement with a fireplace in it. <laughs> or cellar. Yeah. The bricks there are 210 years old. And they On this fireplace? Or? Yeah, they had their own kiln. I'll show y'all something really neat. You might want to get a picture of this. Uh, they would autograph it. See the toe prints right here? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was to... Uh... Wait, I'm on the right... Oh, right there. Yeah, our kids are getting the bricks nowadays. Yeah, yeah. that surely is was not an original key. Yeah. yeah, originally not unlocking it here. Hi everybody, so so we just took a brief tour of the Sam Davis childhood home. It was so amazing. There's so much to see. I mean, we couldn't see it all. It's so hot today. It's it's like 92 degrees outside, and and of course with COVID we have to wear masks. And uh, not so much outside, but looking at the museum, it's so fabulous. If you've not seen this, it's in Smyrna, Tennessee. It's a huge plantation. They have. Uh, the original cabin that Sam Davis was born in on the property. I think there may be a picture of it somewhere in the video. And uh, of course, this is where one of the Blue Angels crashed three or four years ago in a field right here on the property. And uh, they said the place had to be shut down for two or three months for investigation and gather the pieces and parts and stuff, which was very interesting. Sad, but and it was clean interesting. Up. Clean, clean up, clean up, yeah. or something. Um, anyway. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs up. And you can <laughs> get notifications of new videos by that little bell down in the right corner. Thank you all so much for watching. And we're going to do this again. And when the weather gets cooler, we're going to come back and do the whole day and, and make a vlog of it. Yeah. It's, it's really worth seeing. And we want to show you all everything we saw. But yeah. uh, it was just too hot today. And uh, just thought we'd give you a little bit of what's going on oh oh before we go i want to mention the sunflower maze it's acres and acres of sunflowers with a maze and it's amazing to see when the sun the sun moves the sunflowers move like that with i mean the with the sun it's just just a great yeah. day and uh anyway hope you all enjoyed the the video and thank you for watching really appreciate thank everybody you. and please subscribe to our channel thank Thanks you all for watching. bye bye, bye.